happy Saturday. Right now we are off. We're about to head on inside because we are celebrating my sister's graduation party. And yes, this is majorly delayed. She graduated back in May and it's currently July 30th right now. Here she is. She's a graduation girl. We're doing like a dinner, lunch type of thing. It's gonna be from two to five. We just arrived, we gotta set everything up. We got some balloons, we got some cookies, and all that fun stuff. My girl you. told me not to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. Okay, we're gonna go inside now. Okay. up all the name tags for where everyone's gonna sit. There's 25 of us. This place is actually where we had my grandma's surprise birthday party, so we've been here a few times before, and the food here is excellent. It's Italian food. So now we're just waiting for everyone to arrive. They should be here in like 15, 20 minutes. Dad is carving up. He's super hungry. Thank you, it's not a surprise party. What's that big bowl in your mouth? A dough bowl. People are coming and you're eating. I'm not a dough bowl. Hey. <laughs> Look at the difference. Mommy has a glass of wine and Daddy has bread. Everyone's staring. It's alright. In the other room. It's alright. <clears throat> Don't take any pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? But you're too cute. You're all too cute. It's like we're too many pictures. We got the appetizers rolling out. I'll let you know a few of the things that we got. So we have fried calamari, we have eggplant volatini, we have some fresh mozzarella with tomatoes and onions and basil, and we got a spicy sauce, we got a mild sauce. We have mushrooms that are stuffed, and I think that's it. No, oh, and clams, oregano, I think, possibly. Yeah, so there's plenty of food, this is the appetizer, and then for our actual entree, we'll be able to choose the things from like five or six options. Some of my family is already here, we're just waiting for everyone else to roll in, and then the party will begin. It is starting to thunder. I did not even know it was supposed to rain today. Where'd you go with? I'm always eating a salad when you're recording. I know. You guys see the salad? Yeah. Looks yummy. If you're watching this video right now and you're waking up, it's early in the morning for you, I want you to take a moment and tell yourself, today's going to be a great day. Today I'm going to accomplish at least one thing I set out to do. And most importantly, I'm going to smile no matter what stands in the way. You guys ready to conquer today? Let's do it. For breakfast today, I'm having oatmeal. What a surprise! Okay. Today is gonna be a very eventful day. I had to take my oatmeal to go. So what you guys saw me put in this, I put one scoop of protein powder, some liquid egg whites, and I mixed it all together, threw it in the microwave, and it kind of just makes it like be a thicker consistency, which I sometimes like, kind of like cake. 
So that's what I did this morning for my breakfast. Thank goodness for car chargers. My phone's gonna die. Off to the DMV because my license expires in a few days, so that's kind of a priority. You gotta get this renewed. Hopefully I can take a new picture. It doesn't open until 8 o'clock, but I'm headed there super early because that place fills up so quickly. Bad coupon. <laughs> Just wrapped up at the DMV. Luckily, it didn't take too long, about an hour wait, which is actually pretty good considering how many people are typically online. Before the place even opened, I think the line was 50 people long. It was insane. Now I am headed off to the lab. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, that you're put in certain places at certain times. I was driving the back way to get here. I usually don't go that way, but something just in my head was like, go that way today. Thank goodness I did. This poor woman was crashed. She like crashed into a barrier and her car is like tipping down. I quickly ran out of the car just now. I went up to her. I went to see if she's okay. Her window was down and thankfully she was okay. She wasn't hurt at all. I made sure that she was able to get out of the car and she was just kind of like shaken up because she didn't know how it all happened. She didn't know where she was located. Um, so I told her the actual area that she's at right now. And she's gonna call the tow truck. I think she was on the phone with her daughter. So I just got here now and the two tests that I have to get done, I actually have my paperwork with me right now. I have to get a quantifuron test and a urine drug screen chain of custody test. Now this is something I have to do every year. I'm headed into my last year of nursing school and in order to be in the hospital, in order to work in the clinical setting for your classes, you have to be up to date with all different tests. This is gonna sound funny to you guys. I'm going to be a nurse and I should be comfortable with blood, but when it comes to myself, oh my gosh, and getting blood drawn, I freak out like a little baby. Ever since I was younger, I pass out, I get the shakes, I get like nauseous afterwards. Lately in the past few years, I've gotten better, but I have to like prep myself. It was a tip someone told me one time to drink a full glass of cold water right before. It makes you feel better. And also to have some sugar, which is what I usually have so that I don't pass out. So wish me luck, guys. Of course, things did not go as planned, so... I did not have a prescription for the quantifuron test, so I was only able to do the urine drug screen test. So at least I was able to do one. The other thing I have to now wait a week until I go to the doctor so they can give me a prescription. I tried calling them, having them fax it over, and they said no, nope, can only do it in person. So postponing the blood. On the bright side, I drank a ton of water to make sure that I had enough urine to give. So almost halfway through. It's 11 o'clock right now. So far today I had the oatmeal protein bar. Now I'm gonna make myself a salad. I love salad. I typically would put grilled chicken through it, but I don't have any made. So to be quick, I'm gonna throw in a can of tuna fish, one or two perhaps. Um, I think two cans is like 40 something grams of protein. I'm gonna throw in some peppers, some onions, some basil, some scallions. That's like my go-to meal. So let's make it and let's eat it. <laughs> few hours trying to get as much color as possible because I have a photo shoot in two days whenever I shoot I always like to get a little extra glow to my skin it just looks better in the images it shows your muscles more I'm feeling a hundred percent for this shoot though to be honest I feel bloated I think with traveling to Texas not eating the greatest not sticking to a strict regimen my stomach just feels all yucky and I feel like I'm holding a ton of water weight my goal is to tighten up so what I'm gonna do for this shoot to prepare, I'm basically gonna drink a lot of water. I'm gonna make sure I go into the sauna every day when I go to the gym. I'm gonna really sweat everything out, open up my pores, making sure my cardio is on point. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna head off to the track. It's still really nice out, it's hot. I'm gonna get a good sweat on, and I'm gonna do some running. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand. To the fire, but it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through 
for you.